Hi, welcome to Business Types OEM Businesses as part of the B2B Marketing. Objectives, by the end of the class you should be able to understand the characteristics of the OEM business, be able to use some specific marketing actions to understand the business relationships and understand how to sustain or exit the relationships that you have. Just going back to the matrix, where are we standing? OEM businesses, very common rebuy, supplier insecurity, individual buyers, and some buyer insecurity. What is an OEM? Um, the more recent definition, I think, is a very clear one. A company that buys a product and incorporates or rebrands it into a product under its own name. Um, I like the fact if you're an OEM, your badge stays on your equipment. Think about a wind turbine. You provide the generator. Your name is and remains on that generator. This moves you away from being a pure product provider. And I think this is a very clear definition between the two. In most cases, if you look at a car, you will see second tier, first tier providers selling to the manufacturer car seats. But in some instances, you'll actually see the brand name on the car seat, um, which adds value to it for both parties. Hello is an example. But only where the light unit remains branded is Hello. Um, where it doesn't, that ends up being a commodity product. What are the characteristics? Long term relationships. Substitution is difficult. Long term interdependency and often joint R&D. So that whatever it is you're providing can fit neatly into what they're manufacturing as the final package or the final product. This is one of the roots of moving yourself away from being a commodity product business. Analysis of the strategic situation. Single versus multiple sourcing, modular versus component sourcing, local versus global sourcing. What is it that you want to supply? Where do you want to supply it? And how do you want to supply it? Remember that we're in a B2B value chain here, so we're providing something to somebody else. How do we do it and what do we do? How to enter this value relationship. If you're making products, you want to move yourself out of there as from commodities, and OEM is one way to do it. At least the customer then gets to see your brand name and you get a bit of brand reputation in that. Innovation, ability to implement new concepts. Integration potential, how can you integrate with your customer? Providing more complex assemblies and modules rather than just standard light bulbs as we could have seen earlier. Um, how do you integrate more into what it is they're producing? And what is the flexibility potential? How then do you manage that for when the market changes. How do you understand how they might consider purchasing from a supplier? Because this is important. You need to understand their drivers as much as you theirs. You need to set up then a sustainable relationship. This requires good coordination. You need to supply to them what they need when, when it's required on a long-term basis. You need to coordinate that. You need to make sure that when there are problems, you sort the problems out as soon as possible. You need to coordinate how to continually improve as well. This ensures that you don't remain, or that this, this ensures that you don't go back to being a commodity product provider. To do all of this, you have to understand their value chain. Why would you terminate the relationship? Um, sometimes what they're integrating all the all of the uh, equipment into becomes obsolete. Think of a car, go back to the light example, they no longer manufacture the car with that lamp. What do you do then? 
that can be quite expensive for you. Um, they may have decided to go back to a commodity product business and go and buy from them. Think about what happens and how that feeds down through the supply chain. Potentials for future business. You should both agree and play by the rules that you've agreed. It's good for partners, but watch out for buyers who want competition because they say it's good. A little bit of competition is good. It will help you innovate. If they start shopping around, they've moved you from being an OEM supplier to being a commodity player. Playing by the rules ensures a good reputation on both sides. They feel comfortable using you. You feel comfortable doing business with them. There we go. That's the introduction to B2B um, in terms of OEM businesses. Look forward to seeing you in class. Thanks very much.